Hi, my name is Bilal and today we will showcase Aster Data Prep's capability to effortlessly pivot and unpivot data through a user-friendly interface. We will be working with a data set that contains data on glucose levels for patients before and after different meals during the day. Our goal is to view this data from an unpivoted perspective so that it makes filtering out data a lot easier. The data is stored in a CSV file, so let us read it using a read file recipe action. We want the names of the patients corresponding to the identification numbers, so let's pull that information from another file using a lookup recipe action. Just so that we have a few more columns to work with, let's combine the first and last names of the patients using the concatenate columns recipe action. We will specify the space delimiter as that is what we want the names to be separated by. Now let's move the patient name column to the start of the preview using the move recipe action. Upon closer inspection, it seems that there are some duplicate records in this dataset. So let's sort the data alphabetically, returning unique records only. Now that our data looks prepared, let us unpivot it. To achieve this, we will use the stack recipe action from the toolbar. In the recipe configuration panel for stack, you will be presented with a grid to select the columns you want to work with. Each column will have one of two options to pick from. The repeat option is used for columns that uniquely identify your data. So we will select the patient name as the read column. And since we want to rearrange glucose level data from columns to rows, we will mark the rest of the columns as stack columns. When data is unpivoted, it will need to be categorized for a particular patient, which is why we need to provide values for the category column. By default, category values are the same as the column names. Once you apply the changes, your data will be unpivoted. Now, you have six records for each patient representing glucose level data at six different instances. You can control how you want to unpivot your data by changing the pairings of the category values. Let's go back into the configuration panel. If I wish to see one record for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for each patient while maintaining the before and after aspects of the information in columns, I can simply make the pairings accordingly. Now you have three different records for each patient where two pieces of information for a particular category is maintained in two columns instead of one. Now let us look at an unpivoted dataset that we will pivot using Estera Data Prep. We will be pivoting a dataset containing learning adjusted years of schooling data for every country in the world. Let us read it using the read file recipe action. Since we have data for continents as well, we will filter them out based on their null ISO codes. Let us abbreviate the column name for our numeric data so that it is easy to handle while pivoting. Now, to pivot data in data prep, select the unstack recipe action from the same category in the toolbar. In the recipe configuration panel, you will find two options that you can use to pivot your data. We will pivot our data based on pivot values as this approach is more commonly known. When this option is selected, we are required to define the columns that we need to work with, similar to stack as we saw a while ago. One of the three unstack options are assigned to these columns. The key column is used for the column that you want to make unique in the output of the pivot. So we will be selecting the country column. Next, the pivot option is assigned to the column on whose basis the pivoting will occur. Since we have data for the years 2017, 2018, and 2020, the data will be pivoted based on these values. Thus, we will assign year as the pivot option. Then we need to assign the input option to the column from which the data will be pulled. In this case, the learning adjusted years of schooling column. Lastly, we need driver values upon which the pivot will occur. In this case, the driver values are the years 2018, 2017, and 2020. You can either manually define these values or fetch them directly from the pivot column that you defined above by clicking the autofill button. When you apply these changes, your data will be pivoted. And just like that, you can easily and intuitively rearrange your data and view it from different perspectives by leveraging Astero Data Prep's stack and unstack features. Mm -hmm.